Okay, there's an old joke that says people in California are like granola. What ain't nuts and fruits are flakes. So, it's not a good joke, bad joke. But anyways, um, granola. I always kind of made fun of it, made jokes of it. Uh, met a girl in college once that actually made it and would eat it in, at, at breakfast with milk over it. And just when she told me that, I just kind of freaked out because I never imagined eating cereal other than out of the box. I mean, that's the natural food order of things. Cereal came in a box. Though that cereal that makes the chocolate milk still kind of freaks me out. But anyways, learned on later on in life through my travels and adventures, granola is actually really good. And surprisingly, it's quite easy to make. So, I'm going to show you how to make granola. This is the stuff you need. Oats, coconut, honey and oil. Pretty simple stuff. Mix it all together. You dry it, throw it in the oven, bake it up a little bit, and it comes out really quite good. Keeps forever. It's filling. It's good for you, and it can be really tasty, so this is making granola. If you need oats, you need the old-fashioned oats. You cannot use instant oatmeal for this. It's got to be the old-fashioned in the drum. So that's that, four cups of that. Again, I mentioned the coconut. I don't normally use it, but I thought I'd splurge and try it this time. Uh, I have used it in the past, uh, just haven't recently. Nuts, I've actually been using pecans down here in Georgia lately from a farm stand. I just picked up some walnuts here. So you got the four cups of um, the oats, two cups of coconut, two cups of the nuts all together. And we're going to be mixing that up nice and thoroughly. Now, this in and of itself isn't enough. We need to add some moisture to it. So we have a half cup of honey. And again, I picked this up at the farmer's uh, stand down the road from me. Uh, darker honey, more flavorful. This is, uh, this is good stuff. Honey tends to be a little pricey, a little expensive. You can get the cheaper stuff in the store. It's not going to be as flavorful. But, and then um, honey in and itself is a little too thick and sticky, so you've got to cut it a little bit. The original recipe called for three quarters cup oil. I use about a half cup of oil because I think it gets too runny with just the half cup. And you whisk that together. Another thing you can do instead of honey is I've used maple syrup as well. Maple syrup and study of honey. That turns out really good too. It gives that nice mapley flavor and whatnot. So we mix that up. We got this so it's nice and smooth. And now it's just a matter of coating this. Okay, this isn't getting quite as moist as I would like to see it, so I've mixed up another um, about a quarter cup of honey and a quarter cup of vegetable oil in here. I'm going to mix that up and add that all to it. Okay, so I added that little bit of extra honey and vegetable oil, and that's a nice consistency. It's a little moist, it, everything looks pretty well coated. So now it's just a matter of Taking the pan, tossing it down there, spreading it out. This is going in a 350 oven, and I'll put it in for about 15 minutes and check on it then, maybe toss it around a little bit. Okay, it's been about 10 minutes. Total time for this is going to be about uh, 45, according to the recipe. Watch the edges as you move it around. That's where if you're going to get any burning, it's going to be along there. So all you do is every once in a while bring it out and mix it around just to help even out the, the cooking. So we'll put it back and check it in a bit. Okay, another 15 minutes, so 25 minutes total. You can see it's really getting browned up. As we turn it all over. And I think the coconut's adding a lot to the brownness. The uh, sweetened coconut, lots of sugar. Sugars burn higher. They're more apt to burn. So I'm going to watch this real closely. I'm going to put this in for another um, no more than 10 minutes and check it again. Okay. It's actually about another 12 minutes, so that's what, uh, 
37 minutes total so far. And it's getting nice and brown, but it's also still very moist. Maybe I made a mistake in adding that little bit of extra honey and oil. I'm actually going to lower the temperature a little bit and uh, put it back in. Quite tasty though. Going by a little over five minutes, so it's uh, a little over um, 35 minutes now or so. And I lowered the temperature down to about 300. I think that's going to do it for the browning portion of this. So I'm going to let it sit out on the pan and cool a little bit. And then we're going to finish up by adding some fruit. Okay, it's probably been about uh, half an hour since I let the granola uh, cool down. It, uh, it was a little moist when I first brought it out, but it's nice and dry and crunchy right now. So we're just going to take it and... Um, work into the bowl. And it's a little tricky. So I'm just going to kind of break it off and work it in. Okay, so I'm finishing up putting, uh, getting the granola off the pan. Uh, this is going to need a good soaking. I think uh, next time I'll try maybe a little bit lower heat and maybe putting it on two pans, spread it out, get it dried a little bit more. Um, so maybe it'll dry without uh, browning so much. I'm saving half of it just plain. I like this. I mix this I mix this in with granola in the morning. That's really good. So I'm just keeping that. Otherwise you can uh, mix with some dried fruit. Uh, for the whole thing, if I were doing the whole thing, again you can kind of play with this. A cup of, uh, a cup of raisins, two cups of raisins, however fruit do you want it. I'm using a cup of raisins here. I've got a few leftover dried cherries. Uh, from a brownie thing I did, so I'll throw those in there, and uh, I mean, uh, craisins, the dried cranberries are really good, and mix it up, and that is actually a really great cereal, pour a little milk on that, that is some really good stuff, so that's it, that's granola, enjoy!